Okay, people, I have a... These puppies are for sale. And the dad is Koa. And the mom is Parada. Okay, so this is going to be a long video detail of what's going on, what's been bred, who I've been bred to. It's about a 20-minute video to really go into detail because this breeding is about at least six, seven years in the making. Okay, so first off, we're going to talk about Koa. 2019 Koa at Cinco de Mayo is the largest show in the world, and Koa was really making waves in 2019. 2020, uh, Cinco de Mayo was canceled because of Corona. Then 2021, he really killed it. Anybody who went to Cinco 2021 knows Koa was really the best dog there, the best one, okay? So, this litter is all about first picks, meaning this guy here, Koa, he was first pick. His father, Kane, was first pick. And this guy, Bane, was first pick. Then you go back one more, you go Disciple, he was first pick. So I'm going to show you proof that these dogs were all first picks. We're going to go through their the owners' and the good friends of mine's Instagram's pages and see where they wrote, hey, first pick male is such and such. Okay, so first, this is Koa. Koa is such a nice male, and I, and I really believe in first pips, picks because I own Lobo. Okay, I own Lobo. Lobo is ama amazing male, but he's second pick. First pick is Koa, okay? So Lobo and Koa, there's three pups in the litter, Lobo and Koa and the female Kalia. I could have just used my male Koa, but I mean Lobo, but no, I went out of my pocket. I paid four grand with all the costs, everything's four grand, stud service for Koa, okay? Because I wanted first pick, the best of the best. So let me show you Koa's and Lobo as they were pups, okay? To show you what I did. So there's Koa and there is Lobo, brother pups. And you can go to Lone Star XL Bulls. That's the guy that made them, okay? He's out of Kane and Mystique, okay, is Koa's parents, okay? So here they are as their puppies, Lobo and Koa, Koa's first pick. There they are, Lobo and Koa, okay, playing as pups, okay? And let me show you this picture here. They are when they're pups to adults. So there's Koa as a pup and as an adult. And here's the male I own, Lobo, as a pup. So I spent money. I didn't need to. I had the same genetics, but I spent money for first pick because he was first pick. He was second pick because I care about the breed and I want to make better and better pups. So my friends were like, you're crazy. You got the genetic materials. I'll like, no, no, I want first pick. No matter what, just like Russell Westbrook and, you know, his mom was an athlete, his her, his mom was an athlete, dad was an athlete, and so the kid comes out better. So I wanted first pick, first pick, first pick. Okay, so enough, so I wanted to show that. Okay, Um. second point is, is Koa, okay, his half-brother, meaning the same mom, Mystique, same mom, that dog's name is Thor, amazing. Okay, there's Koa as a pup, and that's Thor on this side. Amazing male. Um, you need to go to his uh, Lone Star XL underscore bulls. That is the half-brother of Koa. Just amazing dogs. So let's go to that Instagram page. And Lone Star, here he is. Lone Star Kennels. Okay, and this Thor is the half-brother. And Koa's all over this guy's Instagram page. This guy has 42,000 views. And look at Thor. That's the half-brother of Koa. Half-brother of Koa. And uh, he's an amazing male. So what I'm trying to illustrate is that Thor and Koa are two bad-ass bulls that are half-brothers. The only difference is Koa's a little bit heavier. And Cinco de Mayo, you can see at Cinco de Mayo, when Thor and Koa walked up, I mean, people were just 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 frightened of these dogs they're just bad bad dogs okay let me show you those videos of those and so here is koa's owners web page uh, instagram page true pride bulls llc okay and 2021 cinco de mayo the biggest and the baddest show on earth here are his official stats koa 28 inch head 
150 pounds is his weight. 24 at the shoulders. He's three years old. Okay. The boy is the truth. I mean, he's big, strong. People love him. Look at how many likes he gets. Okay. So Koa is the best dog at Cinco. Okay. And Koa has been busy. He's been breeding to a lot of females um, because of just that. It's just amazing. He's an amazing dog. Um, let me show you back here. Okay, so Koa. Koa, he, I mean, when you go into Cinco de Mayo, okay, Koa's sister is Kalia. 120 pound bitch, Kalia. Huge, nice structure, nice head, nice, head, nice movement. There you go, Kalia, okay? And I think she's in Texas right now, so she's just. The whole litter of Koa's siblings were amazing, and I own Lobo. So, and let's look at the let's look at the uh, uh, let's look at the mom now. Okay, the mom of this litter is Parada. Let me show you. So, the puppies you're gonna buy, the mom is Parada. There she is, beautiful. She's about 125 pounds, fawn in color, a little bit of merle in the mouth. I think she's a tri carrier. This is when she was younger. Okay, and we had 11 pups. In this litter that you're gonna buy 11 pups but unfortunately a few passed so we have eight pups now okay the pick the litters are still there the smaller ones kind of got you know they passed away unfortunately okay so now this is Prada okay Parada was born from this breeding CEO kennels did the breeding and of course that's Solomon Grundy he's the one of the most famous studs or the current stud out of uh, Riverside County pits number one short stocky and that is Scarlet, okay? She is, she is from Flip and Gigi and all that blood, that Los Angeles blood. I talked to her owner, and he. So let's talk about litter size. She came out of a litter of nine, okay? So when you buy a dog, you're gonna have a lot of puppies. This female, Scarlet, came out of a litter of nine, and Parada, you can see here, the daughter produced eleven pups. So, um. Let's go to CEO Kennels. Okay, this is the guy that made Parada. CEO Kennels, Gustavo Hernandez. You can see his CEO Kennels page there, his Instagram. So he made Parada. And I asked him, hey, the daughter I kept Parada, was she the biggest one? And she goes, yes, she definitely was the biggest female out of the litter. So she is the pick of female I got, okay, out of a litter of nine. Okay, so let's do Parada's litter was out, litter, out of a litter of nine. So let's go to CEO Kennel's Instagram, and we will do some research on them. There they are, this guy. Okay, so now we're talking about Parada, okay, the mom. That's the dad, Roadblock. I'm sorry, that's the brother, okay. Let's look at Roadblock's weight. You can see it here, 142, Roadblock, okay? Also another brother is Don Meg, beautiful. Drives People drive all over the country to look at this male, okay? I mean, look at this. Look at the beauty on this dog. This is the brother to Parada. So all Parada's brothers were badass, okay? Look at this. Don Meg, beautiful male, beautiful color. This is the brother, okay? And Queen Latifah, this guy, CEO Kennels, the only reason why he sold me Prada is because he didn't, didn't have any room. But she was definitely the largest out of the whole freaking litter, okay? <sighs> Let's see here. As their pups, you can see, you can count. There were nine puppies in the litter, okay? These are old pictures. Prada's probably is in one of these pictures. Okay, there you go. Built with consistency. It's Scarlet times Solomon Grundy. So count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beautiful pups, consistent pups, okay? So now we've been talking about Scarlet the mom. She was a litter of nine, okay? And all right, let's now, the next dog I'm going to talk to you about is Solomon Grundy. This dog does not need to really be introduced. Okay, one step back. So this is Scarlet, okay? Flip and Revenge are on the side, okay? Flip and Revenge are on the side, GG2, and the dad, the grandpa of the pups you're going to buy is Solomon Grundy, okay? 
So you can take a look at that. Okay, now let's talk about Solomon Grundy. Okay, Solomon Grundy, I've already talked to the owner. I was like, bro, how much for stud service for Solomon Grundy? And he was like, dude, Solomon Grundy is closed to the public. But if you want a stud off another dog, it's freaking, you know, $8,000. So it's not cheap. Solomon Grundy is a very expensive dog, and it's not cheap to get a stud service out of him. Uh, the owner of uh, Riverside County Pips says, no, I don't even want to do stud service unless it's $8,000. Okay, this is where I was at. Okay. So, hey, buddy, this is the owner of Solomon Grundy. How much for stud? Off who? I asked Solomon. He goes, Solomon is close to public or 10 k if you per wish to breed a breeding. So, bro, 10 k is a Solomon stud service, okay, or he's closed. There's a beautiful picture of Solomon Grundy. Okay, Solomon Grundy is a beast out of River Sound County's pits. Okay, Solomon Grundy's dad is Legion, bro. That's Legion beast. Okay, Legion is an amazing beast. Legion's dad is his course who? Juggernaut. Okay, Juggernaut's dad is Kimbo. So this is all that Juggernaut blood, and they bred him tight. This here's Legion. Okay. 2016 look at that chest his son is Solomon Grundy Solomon Grundy is the dad of Parada and Prada is the mom to the pups So there's fire on that side. Okay, so I told you that Solomon Grundy stud is now served It's closed ten thousand dollars or no. Let's go back to Koa now. Okay. I want to talk about Koa's dad I talked about his half brothers. Okay. Koa's dad is Kane. There's Kane. Okay amazing male he passed away recently, so bless his soul. There's Kane. He was the be he was the first pick male, was Kane, and he came off of Riverside County's Bane. Okay, look at this guy. This is back in 2016, Cinco de Mayo. This this dog killed it in the show ring. Okay, biggest and baddest Kane. Okay, now let's go one step back. Cain may be very, very my my best Bane son. So Cain's son, Bane is the grandpa. Okay, then Cain, then Koa. Okay, so let's take a look at pictures here. His dad is disciple. Bane's dad is straight up old school disciple blood. Okay, let's look at look at that. Let's let's see if we can get some disciple blood in there. Yeah, Koa's grandpa. Okay, it's Rattler and disciple blood in there. So what I'm trying to tell you is that Bane was first pick, Kane was first pick, Koa was first pick. Same thing on the mom side, Parada. She was first pick. Okay, Scarlet was first pick. A litter of nine. And Prada first litter had 12. Now she has 11. Okay. Um, let's see. So you can go to Riverside County Pips. Look at Bane. You can look at Kane. Has passed. You can go to True Pride Line Oxnard Eddie Asuncion. That's Kane. And then the dad is Koa Koa. Okay. Um, so what I want to talk about now is Prada's brothers and sister Don Meg. Uh, the guy that's in Netherlands. So this is Parada's brother. There's Parada. Beautiful Parada, the mom of the puppies. Parada's brothers. That's how Parada was born out of that breeding. Here's Parada. 5K. Five, Parada's brother. Don Meg. 5K, dude, for this stud. 5K to stud. So let's do it. Her brothers are 5K stud, and her dad is a 10K stud. Okay? And Koa, I got into him because... He, was, he wasn't blown up yet, not too many people. I got him a little, and Eddie's my boy, so I got him for a close to around four grand with costs. So, I mean, these all these pups are very expensive, you know? Um, and that's why the cost is, is, the cost is that. All right, now let's look at Mayhem. This boy's in Arizona. He's brother of Parada. Mayhem's a bad male. So let me go out here. Go to my Facebook and he is a bad, bad male. I'm gonna go to Michael. Michael's been using this guy for a while. 
And let's take a look at this. Beautiful. That's mayhem. Okay, look. Mayhem is in Arizona, okay? Mayhem's a bad boy in Arizona. And what you can do is just scroll down a little bit. And you can see beautiful pics of Mayhem. Look at that. So the... There he is. Look at Mayhem. Square feet, square chest, big head. Very heavy dog. So Parada's brothers are bad. Mayhem, Roadblock, Don Meg. Sisters are Queen Latifah. So the, the pedigree is full. It's just fire all the way around. Alright, let's go to... This is uh, Pedro Ramirez. He is the owner of Mayhem. Yeah, go ahead. Alright, let's take a look at some more of Parada's brothers. Okay, go to this guy's web page, Ramirez XL Bully Alliance. He's a good friend of mine, and you can see Mayhem. Beautiful male, okay? Look at that. Mayhem, beautiful male. Beautiful colors, okay? Nice temperament, big head. This is the brother of Parada. He's about a $4,000 stud service if you want to hook him up. Okay, that's uh, Ramirez Bully XL. Then the other one you can go to is CEO Kennels. That's also a lot of Parada's brothers and sisters are on this side. Okay, so you can look and research and look at all them. All these fawn looking ones are all the, the Scarlet. Okay, Scarlet and Revenge. So this is some serious bulls. Scarlet, Revenge, Hammy, all those males are, are, are behind this amazing bloodline. And here is Prada. There's our Prada on his on uh, on his webpage, and it's 2019. Okay, and there I am, Forklift Kennels. Big shout out to Forklift Kennels for making this major move. And we picked her up, and you can click on that, go to my thing, although I don't have many posts, but there you can see. And uh, gorgeous female that we bought from him. Thank you. So, even one of the brothers is, okay, so this guy here, is, a lot of people are now breeding to Koa, okay, let me tell you, last year, here's a, here's a good video of Koa, let's watch this video. There I am standing in the back. That's Koa's half-brother, Thor, okay, look, Koa, there he is, look at that. Everybody stops to watch Koa. He is bad. Look at that. There he is. That's the dad to the pups. Number one American bully XL on the West Coast for sure. Look at look at his back. Look at his rears. Okay. And that was about two weeks ago at the show. So if you want to see more videos of Koa, just go to YouTube. And you got to type in Koa American bully XL. There he is. Okay. 47 pounds. Got the 28 plus dome on him. His height is around 24 inches. Uh, yeah. Solid dog. XL. Koa Sire is pits to the bones cane. And his dame is Mystique. So, yeah, you can go to YouTube and watch that picture of Koa. So, a lot of people are now using Koa. Why? Why? Because he's the best male around. Okay. Um, I asked other people, hey, who do you think the best is at Koa Cinco? He goes, I think Koa overall. Michael, this guy, Michael, he's a friend of mine. And he now is breeding to Koa. Okay. Uh, Junior, my boy Junior, he's breeding to Koa. Uh, who else bred to Koa recently? Lulu was bred to Koa. So basically, Koa is the best male on the West Coast right now, and people are breeding it to him because they know 
See, when you go to internet and you look at stats and you look at pictures, that doesn't really... Oh, this is 2019. At 13 okay. months, that's what he was, okay? 2019 COA. So, I mean, you can go to internet and look at stats and shit like that, but, I mean, it's kind of... It's not the same thing, because look, this was 2019 at 13 months. His head is what? 28 and a quarter, right? And now when you go to 2021, Cinco de Mayo, on the board, his official stats were, let me give them to you. Uh, oh, man. His official stats were 28 inch. So you got to go in person. You got to stack the dogs together. You got to see what everybody's talking about. Then you decide who the best stud is. Just don't look at the internet. Don't look at, I mean, people talk. You want dogs to stack. When they stack, that's when you know they're for real. All right, so the prices of the pups start off at 2,500. And here's my breakdown of the cost, why the cost is that. Just on this litter. Prada cost me four grand. I fed her for two and a half years, three grand, cheap. Vet bills were one grand in the two and a half years. Uh, getting her progesterone touch, all that stuff. Stub service to Koa was four grand. Okay, C-section was one thousand. The puppy nanny really got me because I work. I can't take care of the pup. Four grand. Okay, for all eight weeks. Ears is fifteen hundred. Okay, two, two, you know, two, 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 two hundred fifty bucks each pup. Okay, shots, foods, etc. Nineteen thousand dollars, bro. So. I mean, $19,000 I got to get out of this litter just to break even. So if you think I'm making money, no, I'm not making money out of this litter. I just want to just wanna get my pups back and, and you know, uh, uh, recover my money. You know, that's all. That's all it's about. It's not really about getting rich because, as you know, as breeders, it costs a lot, dude. And if you, you don't use the pick of the best stud out there, it ain't going to, you know, you ain't going to get your monies back at all. So anyways, here are the pick, here are the fours, okay? Here are the four males. Those one, two, three, four, the biggest males, okay? That blue one there is the pick of the litter male. And you can see they have color coloring to them. Really nice male. I still got the pick of the litter male, and my nanny sent me this video, okay? That is the pick of the litter male, buddy. Pick. So if you want some really nice fire, see, really nice fire, Koa, look, you know, you want some really, really nice fire dogs, best on the West Coast, Koa is the boy you need to get to, bro, all day long, I would pick Koa, ask anybody there, Koa's, th this, this breeding is the best, Koa to Parada, I mean, you can't beat that, look at that. 150 pounds, 24 inch, 28 inch head at three years old. So at three years old is what, what this bad boy is at. And uh, 2,500 is a starting home pup. I still got the first pick males and female. That's $4,000 for the pick. Any less, I'm just gonna have to keep them back. So they'll come with shots, wormed, everything ready to go. Okay, maybe ears too, I can't guarantee, but it looks like the ears might be done too. So if you want one, hit me up. Uh, my, this is my, this is my forklift kennels is my thing, my Instagram. There you want to know, you can add me there. Thank you so much and hit me up if you want a great pup. Thank you.